Let's go over the problem set, and as you can see on here, I've got the same paper from when we were learning a little bit more about Lesson 4. So this is Module 1, Lesson 4, Problem Set. Joseph earns $15 for every lawn. Okay, so that's important because every lawn... So think about if we were to write that as a ratio or in fraction form, I would have $15 per one lawn, or $15 per lawn. So that is my earnings over my number mode. So at 15 then after 2, I've made 30, and after 3, I've made 45, and after 4 lawns, I've made $60. So if I look at these, it wants to know, is the amount of money he earns proportional? So again, going back to, is there a constant rate? Yes, there is. The constant rate is equal to 15. So each one of these is times 15. And if I look at my ratios, 15, that would equal 15, and 30, 15, and 45, 15, and 60 with four lawns, 15. So there's my constant rate. So I've been able to identify that, and therefore my earnings are proportional to the number of lawns. So it has a proportional relationship. So let's come down to number three. Lucas and Brianna read three books each last month. The table shows the number of pages in each book and the length of time it took to read the entire book. So if we start right here, it's hard for me to determine if it is a proportional relationship because I don't know if there's a constant rate of change. So remember to determine that constant rate, it's going to be pages read over the number of hours. So pages... per hour. So, here we go. Looking at this, we have 208 over 8, 156 pages in 6 hours, and we have 234 pages in nine hours. If you take a calculator or you do your division, you're going to find that each one of these equals 26. So that means he took that actually 26 pages were read every hour. Therefore, that has a constant rate. So Lucas's reading was at a constant rate, and it is proportional. If we look at Brianna, again, setting up our ratio of pages read per hour, 168 over 6. And if you do that division, you come out with 28 pages read. And then 120 over 4 in 4 hours meant that I read at a rate of 30 pages per hour. So right there, those are not equal. So it cannot have a constant rate. No constant rate, so it is not proportional. This last question was asking 
if they were both had specific reading goals they needed to accomplish. They both had those. I guess my big question would be, what was different? And as I look at this, it it's looking like, even though they changed how many they read at a time, Lucas stayed very consistent, whereas Brianna did not. So that is it for that question. For your problem set for lesson four, if you have any questions, please make sure you talk to your classroom teacher and get assistance.